This is the Southern Railways Lord Nelson Class 460 steam locomotive. This one is actually the Lord Nelson itself. There were 16 made between 1926 and 1929, each named after a famous admiral. They were built for UK and continental operations and were what's known as a boat train, which meant it got you to your boat. Half were fitted with six-wheel tenders for continental operations and the other half with eight-wheel tenders. Only one engine survives, the namesake of the class, the Lord Nelson. Quick word about livery before we get going. You've got a number of options. The Lord Nelson class had four different sets of livery. Started with an olive green, then went to a light olive green. These are green and lime terracotta respectively. Malachite green with a fine yellow trim. This is warped stem, closest we can get. And then wartime black. Blackstone, obviously. After the war, it went back to malachite green and remained that way even under British rail. I've made this one in the warp stem. If you want one of the other colour options, feel free to swap out the blocks. So let's get started. To make the Southern Railways Lord Nelson, you'll need the following. All the amounts are on the screen with the larger ones. I might be out by one or two blocks, my apologies. Don't forget a waste block. I like dirt. To begin with, place a waste block on your track. And on top of that, place one, two, three red concrete get rid of your dirt and then either side we're going to place pistons on their sides and underneath on each outer red concrete we're going to place levers flick them open and you've got buffers I got these from Crafty Fox there's a link to his channel in the description now polished black stone wall one piece in the middle a chain underneath and an iron bar on top. Now come round behind and from this middle block we're going to go back 19 with grey or brown terracotta. So 1, 2, 3, 18, 19. Alright, we're going to do the wheels of the lead bogey first. So come round, stand with your back to this grey terracotta, up against the buffer. We're going to leave a gap of 1 and then crouch and place a warp trap door, fold it up, leave a gap of two and place one more. Now that that's done, polish blackstone brick stairs upside down directly behind the buffer, one, two, three, four, five and at the front an upside down warp stair and under it a warp slab. Now we're going to repeat all this round the other side. Now take polished black stone brick slabs and we're going to place five of them. We're going to leave this first brown terracotta empty and then we're going to place one, two, three, four and five. So those slabs are staggered one back from the upside down stairs. Now along the front here we're going to place one, two, three, four, five carpet and then two warp trap doors behind and two on the other side. Now grab polished black stone bricks. We're going to start between the trap doors and we're going to go all the way along the complete length of the terracotta. Now we need polished black stone stairs. Standing at the front looking towards the back, I'm going to place right way up polished black stone brick stairs directly behind these two trap doors and right way up warped stairs either side of those. Now we're going to make the front of the boiler. So beginning on this block here we're going to place one, two, three polished black stone brick blocks and one either side of this block. So we've got a sort of cross shape. Now in each of the arms of the cross we're going to place a polished black stone brick stair. That gives us the front of the boiler. Now come round to the back and we're going to extend that by three more blocks. So one, two, three, one, two, three, three here and three there. So we are making a section that is four blocks long. Now you can fill this centre one with whatever you want, blackstone, dirt, 
doesn't matter and fill the space in the arms with polished blackstone brick stairs. Now you've got two choices. You can either just put a polished blackstone brick slab on this block, that's two from the front, or you can take out this block here, pop a campfire in it, and then pop the brick slab on top. That gives you a smoking funnel. Now to make the rest of the boiler, we're going to repeat what we did with the blackstone but with warped wood and we're going to go back eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just fill this centre one with whatever you want, dirt, warped wood, doesn't matter. And finish them off with warped stairs. Now grab a warped slab, come to the end, we're going to count back one, two, and a warped slab on the third. That gives us our dome. I think we'll make the firebox next and then we'll get onto the wheels. So warped planks, and we're going to start on one side of the boiler at the bottom, doesn't matter which, but we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do two more rows of five on top of that. And same on the other side. You can fill this section in the middle with whatever you want. I'm just going to use the warp planks and fill it in at the top. There's the firebox. Now grab sea pickles and in the middle we're going to count one and a sea pickle on the second and a sea pickle on the next one. That's the boiler and the firebox. Let's now finish off the lead bogey. So come down and between the two wheels place two polished blackstone brick slabs like that and then behind this warped stair we're going to place one polished blackstone brick slab, one piece of polished blackstone with another underneath for the valve chest and then one, two polished blackstone brick slabs. If you'd rather have a green valve chest Feel free to take out the polished blackstone brick blocks and replace them with warp planks. Facing towards the back, we're going to place one, two, three, four warp trap doors on top of those four blocks. Now grab polished blackstone wall and place one either side of the polished blackstone block. Should look like that. And place one more piece of wall on the terracotta next to the last stair. Now grab an end rod and place it against this back wall here. Now repeat all this round the other side. Now it's time for the driving wheels. So next to this piece of wall place a warped block, leave a gap of one and place another, place one on the tracks between them and one above. And now in each of these spaces we're going to put warped stairs upside down at the bottom, right way up at the top and a polished blackstone wall in the middle. That's one driving wheel. We're going to make two more leaving a gap of one between each. Between each of those wheels place a piece of polished blackstone wall. Next to the last one place a lever and flick it down and next to that a piece of polished blackstone wall. Now repeat all of this round the other side. Coupling rods next. I'm using iron trapdoors. Place one at the top of this middle back block of the first drive wheel and we're going to run these back until we get to this block on the next drive wheel. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to place another one at the top of the stairs below and we're going to run that all the way back to here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Come back to the front and place one, two. So these two are at the bottom of the next block up. Now make coupling rods on the drive wheels on the other side of the engine. There we go, that's our coupling rods, that's our wheels. Time for the running boards.
grab your warped slabs and we're going to place three top half warped slabs in front of the first drive wheel like that then grab polished blackstone brick slabs and we're going to place eight more behind the warped slabs so one two three four five six seven eight which should bring us level with the end of the third driving wheel now that we've done that grab polished blackstone brick blocks come behind the last driving wheel and place one two and three and now polished blackstone brick stair upside down next to that first block so we end up with this little L shape here back with the warped slabs again find your middle driving wheel and place one two three bottom half warped slabs above the wheel leave a gap of one and three more so that should be above the last wheel and now facing towards the back we're going to place warp trap doors on top of the exposed polished blackstone brick slabs on this section here where we've got no wheel arch and no trap doors facing towards the back on the third one we're going to place a lever crouch and place an end rod coming off it and then an end rod facing upwards on the first one so we end up with this arrangement on the boiler directly above this end rod place a lever and flick it down and now you guessed it we're going to repeat all this on the other side so we have a symmetrical engine now come to the end and with polished black stone bricks we're going to fill that gap in the middle we're going to put three underneath and an upside down polished black stone brick stair with a warped slab under it and an end rod coming off the side now it's time for the cab so behind this upside down polished black stone brick stair we're going to place two warp planks one two three on top and one at the front like that now we need our waste blocks again so place one on top of that plank and one in front of it get rid of the first one and place an upside down warped stair behind it so it looks like that so that we can look down the engine and now place one warped stair on the end a warped slab in between and a warped slab at the top and an upside down warped stair on top of that so we end up with this shape and with a viewing window now the astute among you may realize that we can't actually see out that window and down to the front of the engine so there's another way we can do this I'll show you on this side so we start out the same way warp planks and then we place one lever gap and one come to the inside and place a warped stair right way up in between those planks place a warp plank on top there a warped stair here and a warp trap door in between once you've done that build up the rest of the side of the cab in exactly the same way as you did before this gives you the ability to see out and down the side it does however look like this from the side so I'm going to leave it up to you as to which version you want to use regardless of which one you go with the inside of the cab is going to be exactly the same we need polished blackstone blocks place them in a ring like this and cover the floor with polished blackstone slabs now grab polished blackstone brick slabs and we're going to make the roof so three along the front and pull it out three more at the back so we end up with a three by four rectangle and here we're going to place warp trap doors looking to either the front or the back one two three and one two three right let's finish off the inside place a blast furnace in the hole two item frames I've used the glow ones just because I can a compass in each item frame for pressure gauges and two levers and last but not least an oak trap door for a drive wheel that's the inside of the cab now we've almost finished the engine grab your end rods and in front of the cab on this block we're going to go back 10 end rods 
and then shift click to add another one on the other side of the lever and bring that back four. There we go, same around the other side. That's the engine, we'll get onto the tender. I've been thinking about what to do for smoke baffles because a lot of pictures of the Lord Nelson it's got them. I'm not entirely certain. The only thing I can suggest is get rid of this trapdoor, this carpet and put in dark oak trapdoors. It's not going to be brilliant. See, not brilliant, but probably the best we're going to do. I personally don't like that. I'll just go without the baffles. Much nicer. Right, now for the tender. Come around to the back of the engine and on this middle lower polished blackstone brick block place a grindstone for a coupling. Now behind that run 12 brown or grey terracotta. So 1, 2, 3, 12. At the end place 1, 2, 3 red concrete and make another buffer exactly the same as the one at the front of the engine. So pistons on their sides either side, levers underneath, flick them open, polished black stone wall and a chain underneath. Now come round to the front of the tender, leave a gap of one and place a nether brick stair right way up, upside down underneath it and upside down right way up behind. So we have a wheel. Yes, it's cross shaped. Pretend it's circular for me. Now make three more of these, leaving a gap of one between each. If you've done it right, the last one should be up against the buffer. Now place hoppers into each of the top stairs so that the funnels go into the stair itself and place a polished black stone block between the first two pairs of hoppers and the last two pairs of hoppers. Come back to the front, polish black stone brick slab, top half, upside down warped stair, warped slab below it. Now we're going to repeat all this round the other side. That's the undercarriage of the tender done. Now grab warp planks and we're going to run them right the way around three sides of our undercarriage, so down both long sides and across the back. And fill in the floor of the tender with polished blackstone blocks. Now that that's done, run another row of warp planks right the way around all three sides. And on the long sides we're going to go back one and run warp planks right the way along, but stop one short of the end. Same on the other side. Now place bottom half warped slab on the two blocks at the front and the five at the back. And finish it off with a row of warped trap doors right the way along the uppermost level facing to the back. That's the body of the tender. Now come inside the tender and with polished blackstone slabs we're going to put two rows standing on the foot plate facing towards the back, polished black stone blocks, one each. We're going to place one, two, three black stone wall on top. Now we've got that done, come to the back of the tender, we're going to count along one, two, three, and on the fourth we're going to put two rows of black stone wall. Now you can either fill this space with something or you can leave it, it doesn't matter, but either way we're going to put nine polished black stone slabs top half and then another three here and another three here. There are cylinders on the back of the tender for the Lord Nelson, I'm not sure what they're for. If you know, I'd love you to tell me, so please put it in the comments. And of course black carpet on top of these three middle ones to spawn proof them. And fill the tender with coal or blackstone. I like blackstone because it looks like loose coal. 
and make it a mixture of full blocks and stairs and slabs so that it looks like it's all in there a bit sort of higgledy piggledy and use black carpet to spawn proof any blocks that need it oh just the one that's not so bad and now I'm going to place a covered lantern just there for the driver and the fireman and we're going to place two iron bars on the cab and two on the tender do the same round here and that could be it finished however if you want you could place a number on the tender there should also be the word southern but it's a bit hard to do in Minecraft on this scale I'm putting the number 850 on it because that is the number of the Lord Nelson so there we have it that's our southern railways Lord Nelson 460 there's more end cards on the screen now linking to some more of my tutorials if you've got a particular engine you'd like to see feel free to put it in the comments remember that I only do British steam engines before nationalization and I can't do anything streamlined such as the Mallard doesn't work on this scale in Minecraft so on that note I will see you next time bye